hey guys welcome back to another video so this is actually the like fifth time i'm filming this because my screen recording keeps cutting out but i think i fixed it so i'm going to be showing you guys today how i edit my instagram pictures and i really do like a simple way it's not like i do anything crazy so this is going to be probably a quick video but i hope you guys enjoy any specific videos you guys want to see make sure you leave it in the comments below subscribe and like and let's get right into it okay so i really hope that this works this time because it's been being very complicated okay so my phone right here this is my screen so basically what i do is i only use two apps i use visco and um lightroom and i know some people use afterlight and i used to use it but i deleted it a long time ago and i guess i never re-got it but these two work perfectly and i'm going to be showing you guys how i'll be showing you those pictures later but this picture i'll be guys showing you guys first and it's super simple how i did this one um with lightroom i went on to etsy actually and i bought my presets from there you can get presets for anywhere that is lightroom compatible and i know etsy they have like literally hundreds of packs you can buy and they're literally all under five dollars the two that i bought in the bio but they work perfectly and they really do they're all different so they really do give you a variety if you want your pictures to look different so i'm gonna show you guys how, what? okay so i started off like this and what i do when i use lightroom is i go through all of them and i see how they all look with the picture so i kind of just scroll through and some you're like oh no but then i really like how australia looked with this one and this one really does give you like a clear skin tan look so i click on that and then i go into light and i kind of edit it how i want it just based off the back my lighting and my like what i use really does depend on like the background the picture how i want it to look and then the contrast i kind of just bring that down and then i bring up the highlights i'm really not sure what the highlights does but and then for some pictures i'll go into color and i'll see how i like it and if it even needs it because a lot of time i don't use that but i really like the blue tint that this picture has and i'll go into light and i'll bait i'll edit it based off what i put from the color part and yeah this is how this picture came out it's totally simple nothing crazy and then i really just save it and i'll put it on my visco i'll put it on instagram if i want but yeah that's how i did that and then i'll come back and show you guys how i did a different picture but for visco i'm in love with the filter a5 i don't know if you guys know it it's one of the free ones and it has more of like a bluish tint to it and um with this picture this is how this one turned out and i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got that this is the unedited version i think oh wait no let's get rid of this okay yeah so this is the unedited version and at first i didn't think i was gonna like this picture but then when i went in and but then when i went in and edited it i was like wow this is actually kind of good one is i use my favorite filter a5 and you can leave it to full to like the full filter but i kind of bring it down to just a little bit and then I'll go into exposure again and I don't do anything crazy I kind of just bring it up or down a little bit and then I'll go into contrast and see how I want it to look and I kind of like how it looks a little bit lighter and then for saturation I don't really use saturation a lot but for this picture I was like you know what it's summer let's look a little tan so I went in and gave myself literally the tiniest bit of tan and yeah that's how this picture turned out sometimes if you want to bring it up again after the editing is done you can do that but yeah this one was posted on my instagram it looked great and i was a really big fan of how a5 made this picture look so going back to lightroom sometimes i will kind of use both and i'm going to show you guys with that picture of Haley. um this picture okay so we took this a while ago and i never posted it because i'm still kind of like messing with it but this is how it looked originally and it it looks very dark and i kind of want it to look a little bit more lighter so I go into presets and I remember going through this and I really like how Serenity 4 looked with it. It kind of just made it gave it a more lighter tone. It kind of just made it look a little bit more vibrant and I really like that. So I'll save this one and I really like using Visco for all the tools they have because they do, I think they do have more. So I go back and I go and add it to, I don't want to create a journal and I'll add it and I'll kind of just again play with the tools that they have. And with every picture, I really don't. I feel like the filter does a lot of its job. So with the tools, I really don't go crazy with them. So let's make ourselves look a little tan. And yeah, so that's it. And then I'll save it again. And that's it. So basically, 
that's just kind of a small rundown of how I edit my pictures. It's super simple and you guys can check out Etsy and all the presets they have. You can also check with like, I know a lot of big influencers and YouTubers, they have their own presets and you can get like a bunch for not even that expensive. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can go roam around. And I know there's a lot. Of, I know there's also a lot of websites that have a bunch of presets. If you guys enjoy, make sure you click subscribe, like, comment, all of that, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye.